Hello and welcome all as we wait for the start of a match amongst the most anticipated fixtures over the course of the entire season. A day certainly not for the faint-hearted. It is yet another edition of this long-standing conflict between two sides engaged in a never-ending rivalry. One that never has and never will lose its intensity no matter what the context, no matter how many times these two clubs meet. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. It's a friendly in theory, but we are expecting this to be fiercely contested. Well, I think we know what we're in for, whatever the circumstances that exist when these two meet. Losing really isn't an option, making this another intense, feisty clash, which should keep everyone on edge. The fans are more nervous than the players, to me, confirming an atmosphere of, of angst. Try telling them there's nothing riding on this. So it's away we go then. Who do you, Jim, see making a difference here? Yeah, Jan Oblak. He's not someone you often see pulling off spectacular saves, but that's about the highest compliment you can give a goalkeeper because it speaks to his positioning and his organisational abilities. He's just... The referee's awarded a free kick. Well, that looks like a final warning. Still no card. It has got goes for goal! He's pulled off a fine save! Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. but couldn't steer it in. All he'd be thinking is, please, ground, swallow me up. Morata. Rafael Varane. Looking to break out here. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Saul. Partey. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. He's come loose. Saul provides an outlet. Massive leap! Oh, he couldn't get the direction he needed. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Sergio Ramos drives it forward, hoists it forward. Correa. So a third of the match, or thereabouts, gone, and we still await the first goal. He's gone for it! Oh, that was nice, but not quite the end product required. The timing of the pass and run was exquisite. That'll be a throw. A 
And it's played forward. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Forward it goes. I'll try as they might, they just couldn't get into an attacking area. Modric plays it forward. That's great strength on the ball. Loses Madrid and a free kick. That's the talking to, I think. Yes, it is. Probably be looking to play it square from here. So who is the target now? He's having a look at what's available. Towering header! Just off target. That's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. out on the left now has he picked him out Benzema Peter we can only applaud that quality of tackle in the circumstances it was probably goal saving what a throw in Benzema. Now it's Morata. Tries to stroke it through. Correa is onto it and can take it up. And he's cut it out. Casemiro tries to get it forward quickly. Now it's Benzema. Battles to win it back. Partey. It's a good foot in there. Right through the middle. Tries a shot! Good run, lovely take, but that is where it stops. Oh, it was such a clever pass that plummets the defence, and it could well be revisited, this. for trouble Partey chance to break and it's Correa <laughs> Stefan Savic played in with accuracy oh well defended that had to be done good take and he's had a look Defending there, they've slammed the door in the faces of the opposition. Just brushed off the ball there. Isco. Well, it seems obvious that the plan is to, to try and get their passing game going again, but not with that lack of quality. He brings the first half to a close. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Yeah, it's a half that's had a, a limp finish after a decent start, so the manager has to re-energise and re-enthuse his players to come back out pumped.
And after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change perhaps after half time. So off we go once more. At least there's always a plus side to a scoreless half. Defences are doing what they should, and it's going to take good imagination to break the deadlock here. Gets away from his opponent. Correa. Oh, it's a fine challenge, and it goes his way. Sergio Ramos did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. Dangerous looking ball. And it's come to nothing. It's a loose ball. That's art. Oh, good take. And Bale! Goal! And that has only enhanced his already huge reputation. They were obviously hoping for an early second half boost, but there are a few who can truly make it happen. And this is a very welcome tonic now. The keeper deserves some sympathy there. He may not have seen that until too late. And when the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that fate. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. Time for a change in personnel. Madrid, draw first blood here. Well, whatever the manager said in that dressing room at half time, it's worked a treat. Vitolo. And it's for Salco. Vashelko goes on an adventurous run. A chance to play it in. Oh, the ball's come. Oh, real danger here. Vitolo. Defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition. And I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Now it's Azar. It's Bale! It's anyone's ball! Nacho. And here's Azar. Now it's he's gone for it. Chance again. No. They're just lacking the cutting edge, Peter. And while that's fairly obvious, the rest of their attacking play is actually quite good. Nacho with the challenge, and he has given away a free kick. And it's Morata. And it's played forward. But this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Spot on, Peter. Yeah, he's fouled him there.
Morata looks to thread it through cut out in the nick of time who's ball who's going to get there Vitolo can't get the better of his opposite number that's a foul simple decision for the referee And that's gone straight into the wall. And it's for Salco. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. They've played it short. Could cross it here. Timely intervention. Saul. Oh, the ball's come loose. Chooses to go back. A pop! I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Rafael Varan. The only goal came in the early moments of the second period, and the score is 1-0. It's Azar! In it goes! Two up now, and they are cruising. Any deeper thoughts about that goal? Well, his most important job there was to keep the shot down, and he did that without any problems. That's good concentration, you know. Madrid get themselves a two-goal cushion. Vitolo. It'll be a throw-in. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Now it's Morata. Morata has got himself a free kick. Morata. And that has put pay to that. Llorente does well there. Alert. And here's Morata. Played out to the right. Partey. Here's the through ball. Now it's Azar. He's through. Now is he? It's Azar! A real chance and a real let-off. OK, it's come to nothing, but it's a warning of further threat on the break. There's going to be another change here. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but couldn't help notice that he was starting to to labor a bit so it's no surprise Sergio Ramos positions himself well and cuts it out Llorente and it's Saul Casemiro gets it back now it's Bale just brushed off the ball there Llorente out to the right Morata shapes the shoot! This could fall anywhere! Modric has come loose. Oh, good interception. It's being played forward. It's got through to him.
They've been denied a chance to develop any rhythm in the passing department. Itolo. Trippier. And that's it. Madrid, a victory here, and on balance they were worth it. So there it is. What struck you most about that? And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening.